Like Mr. Olson, my district, uh, I have uh, many NASA employees and contractors uh, at the Johnson Space Center. You know, since the inception of NASA, the mission has always been human spaceflight. You know, President Kennedy talked about landing a man on the moon, bring him safely back to the Earth. President Johnson carried that uh, vision on. The goal was met. And I'm concerned about the mission uh, changing. Uh, I'm concerned about the human spaceflight mission being completely cut out of this budget, the Constellation program going away, and an increase in funding towards something that I don't consider to be a core mission of NASA, and that is climate change and weather observation. It seems to me we're getting away from the core mission of NASA. We're getting away from the national security aspects that NASA has always played that we know was vitally important to our space race against the, the Soviets uh, back in the, the 60s. Um, I think as Mr. Wu mentioned, the, the language, I, I hope it does continue to be English, but I think the Chinese and Russians could overtake us. I, I don't, you know, commercial space developers, I don't believe are at the point where they can take over this program. We've already spent nine, we've invested nine billion dollars in the Constellation program. It'll take another 2.5 billion to terminate. That's 11.5 billion invested in the Constellation program, and now we're just pulling the rug out from underneath that program. I think we're sending a message in terms of the mission uh, that it is not a positive one, and that is human spaceflight is not the priority anymore, uh, but rather climate change and weather observation. Uh, I know you spent a lot of time at the Johnson Space Center, and I really respect your service, and thank you for your service as administrator. Uh, but I find it hard to believe that you actually agreed with the President's decision here. Now, I know you have to carry out his orders. You're in the chain of command, but uh, I question whether you do agree with this, having the experience you've had at the, at the Johnson Space Center. So if you would just care to comment to me on um, and I know you, you won't be able to answer, maybe you can, whether you really do agree with this decision. Yeah, I can answer. And how possibly uh, commercial space developers can pick up the slack, uh, particularly after we've invested so much money in the Constellation program. Congressman, I do agree with the decision. I think it's possible, and in fact, I, I will try not to take too much time, but I, I will take some of us back to, 19, to the 1980s when I first came into the astronaut office. Um, we had not long flown STS-1, 2, and 3. Uh, we had gotten into the space shuttle program, and it became apparent to us that if we continued, if NASA continued to try to operate the shuttle, that's all we were going to do. And we actually started looking for commercial entities that would be willing to come in and take over operations of the shuttle, much the same as we are trying to do today with the new commercial program. Uh, and there were companies like United Airlines, Lockheed, Boeing, uh, American Airlines that all were going to bid on the operations contract for, for the space shuttle to offload that. Uh, we even participated in providing training manuals to them for crews and the like, and then something happened called Challenger. Uh, and in 1986, January of 1986, when we lost the Challenger, all efforts at, uh, at outsourcing, if you will, because that's what it would have been at the time, outsourcing the operation of the shuttle went away. Uh, the, the Air Force was going to take the, the uh, responsibility for conducting classified missions, which NASA, some of you will remember, NASA flew all of the human classified missions up until 1986. January of 1986, January 28th, 1986, the world changed. Uh, President Reagan decided that it was not uh, smart to put satellites on the space shuttle. You know, they did not feel it was worth the risk to put an astronaut and a satellite in the same vehicle, and we stopped deploying satellites. So the world changed on January 28, 1986, and things that we are trying to do today, we were trying to do then. Uh, and I think they would have been successful had it not been for the Challenger accident. And I, I don't make light of anything, but, but I, I, I tell people all the time, the trauma of the loss of Challenger to this nation and the world, uh, we are still suffering. In general, with all the, I got 15 seconds, I wanna, I wanna throw this last question out at you, and that is, um, I think NASA, the program, has been one of the best investments of federal dollars that we've had, the model of success, the return on investment. What are we to tell our constituents? Uh, what are we to tell the people, the, the people at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, Clear Lake, uh, the people that you know so well? Mr. Olson and myself, when we go back home, 
what impact is this going to have on them? So I, the Johnson Space Center, as well as the other NASA centers, um, we are going to do everything in our power to ensure that the programs that develop uh, from this budget, that, are an, that we are able to develop from this budget, from the increased money that we're going to have, are going to in, in a, enable them to continue to do the type of work that they do. Uh, they are going to, there is always going to be need for engineering effort. There is always going to be a need for development. And, and we are, you know, I wish I could give you de definitive programs that we are going to have now, but we're two weeks, three weeks after the rollout of the budget, and we have not gotten those types of answers. But I promise you that within months, uh, because I have asked for studies to be brought to me to, to help us determine which programs we're going to do, within months we'll be able to put some meat on the bones, if you will, because I realize there is, a, there is a lack of detail, and that's disturbing to everybody. It's disquieting and discomforting to me, hmm. but we're going we're gonna to get some answers for you. Well, we'll have some programs defined. Well, I think you're, you're going to find there's going to be a lot of opposition in the Congress to the, the cut, uh, the Constellation program. Mr. Chairman, I hope we can work together uh, in the Congress uh, on this issue. Thank you.